Hi guys, I am Wizarding World of Harry Potter YouTuber Victoria McLean and I'd like to welcome you to my special wooden wand exclusive channel. <laughs> I don't know what the, all the eyebrows are for. <laughs> God, so today I am going to be showing you the wooden one set that has been released by Warner Brothers Studio London. Now I only have two of the three, they are rather expensive, but we're going to talk about that now. So if you'd like to see which two of the three I have ordered, then keep on watching. If you would like me to bring Hogwarts to you, then make sure that you subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the all important notification bell as well. Let's get started. So today is the first time I am using my beautiful exclusive wand from Enchanted Mysteries. This is a stunning wand created in the Disneyland Paris Park and it is entirely made of glass and it is filled with beautiful blue and green crystals and on here is the word always etched with three stars. Now I absolutely bawled my eyes out when I received this wand but my god is it beautiful. Look at that, it is all handmade of glass with blue and green crystals inside. Now this was through Enchanted Mysteries. If you'd like to see which box I have this from so you can get one as well, they are custom made to your choice. So this is Ravenclaw colours with a hint of green for Slytherin and the words obviously always and three stars but I will put the link down below for you. But as I always say, definitely with this one, I'm gonna put it back before I break it. Now recently, uh, Warner Brothers have released that they have, or have announced that they are making uh, or selling wooden Harry Potter wands. Now I think that goes back to the very, very first wand that Warner Brothers ever released. Now this wasn't for sale to the public, it was given out at the Sorcerer's Stone premiere in America. This was the very first wand that Warner Brothers ever, ever produced that was given to people that weren't cast and it is completely and utterly made of wood and is worth between $1,000 and $1,500. It is a beautiful, beautiful wand and there are not many of these left because they're quite flimsy. As you can imagine, they were probably handed out to a lot of children and what do children do with wands? They play with them and so they should. But because they are so flimsy, I can't think many of them actually survived. So this was valued, I think, last year between 1,000 and 1,500. Um, but I would hazard a guess to say a year later, it's probably more closer to $2,000. Um, so if you do have this wand in its original packaging, then please, please, please handle it with care. This is kept out of reach of everybody. I just had to get a stool uh, to put it, to, to grab it, because it is very well looked after. But this is the box that it, it comes in. It is a green snake print box, and it's just a plain box that all it is, it, all it is. There's no Ollivander's marks on it or anything. It's just a plain snake patterned box. Now, Warner Brothers have obviously done these beautiful new style ones. Now I first saw them advertised when they basically were released and I, they took a while to get here. So I don't quite know why they took so long because normally when you order something from uh, online on the Wiz in Wizarding World, it does come very quickly. And there is also something else I want to talk about. Now I received a message from somebody on Instagram today regarding Wizarding World Gold. Now apparently, I don't know the reasons behind it, but I will be asking, um, Wizarding World Gold is coming to an end. Uh, it is going to be discontinued. It is going to be cancelled. Now, the email I had about an hour ago is saying that there is no ex explanation as to why that my Wizarding World Gold ends, I think, November the 10th 
of this year which I will not be able to renew it however as a courtesy they are allowing all Wizarding World Gold members an extended period of time after their um, their membership closes so my membership will continue until October 2022 which I thought was very gracious of them but I still would like to know why it's being cancelled so I will be asking them I will be reaching out and trying to find out why now part of my guess is there's a lot of people out there that wanted Wizarding World Gold that couldn't get it and it was very very disappointing. For people in the UK and the US we were very lucky we had Wizarding World Gold which means which meant we had early access to pin releases and so on and so forth. Um, we got, got to go to the Wizarding World Gold party in 2019 which was exclusive for Wizarding World Gold members in the Warner Brothers Studio Tour. Uh, which was an incredible, incredible experience. If you haven't seen that video, then check out the link above. We also got loads of like add-ons, extra things that we could get tickets early on and so on and so forth. But that was only available to the UK and the US market. I couldn't understand why it wasn't being extended. It doesn't make sense. So whether this is why, I don't know, but I would like to try and find out why. I think it will be very sadly missed for people who use it a lot, like myself. We I use the discount a lot. I mean, these ones are £60 each, and I paid £52 for them uh, each. So it wasn't so bad, but once Wizarding World Gold goes, then so does the discounts and all the extras that we got. So it was very disappointing. Everything good comes to an end, sadly, and I'm hoping that the reason why they're cancelling Wisdom and Gold is because they have something bigger coming. Let's hope. So we have, I have two ones of the three. Now the, the new ones that have been released by Warner Brothers are Hermione's, Harry's and Dumbledore's and they come in completely different boxes. So I don't have Hermione Granger's. I couldn't order all three because they are very expensive. So the boxes are very, very, very lovely. Now you can imagine which one's Dumbledore's, can't you? <laughs> With the tassel and then this one is Harry Potter's. So let's open Mr. Harry Potter's first. So this one is Harry's, but it's the second one he's given in Philosopher's Stone by Ollivanders, and it, it makes the vase blow up. So it doesn't become his. But this one is the one he has from Prisoner of Azkaban onwards. So they're beautifully presented in very, very beautiful old-fashioned Ollivander's boxes. Now what I love about the three boxes is every th the three is different. Hermione's box is pink and it's quite thin. Hermione's box is more like this one, but pink. So Harry's has got this like beautiful kind of almost a leather finish and then at the side then you have this Ollivander style number here. But I like the fact that you don't have the Ollivander symbol on the top because in the films they didn't have an Ollivander sticker on the top. So I'm going to be honest, I have opened this one but I haven't taken the wand out and I haven't opened Dumbledore's. So I'm very intrigued to see that. Hermione's looks beautiful but these are all handcrafted out of wood so it makes me wonder how they are made because I, they can't honestly be handmade. They will say handcrafted. They can't be handcrafted, surely, because you think how many people are going to want these ones. So they must be machine made, but they are made of wood. So let's have a look. So this is Harry's. So inside you have the velvet, the velvet, the uh, what's it called? The sh not chiffon. Oh, I don't know. I can't remember what it's called. The the ribbon, let's say. So we have in Harry's you have the red ribbon and they are secured in place and then this is Harry's with a beautiful velvet background and it is padded inside it is cushioned inside and I'm going to take it out now so it is secured in place with elastic so you know the ones are going to be they're not going to move it's quite hard to get them out mind oh right I've done it now the weight of them, I'd say, 
uh, there's a metal rod inside this there's no metal rod inside this which I think that's why it's so delicate but for the weight of this there is definitely a, a metal rod inside this wand and that would stop it from snapping obviously otherwise what's the point of crafting this with no metal rod inside it and it's just going to snap majority of them would snap it would be a waste of money so they're not going to make these unless they can make them quite securely and where they don't have to keep coming back with broken ones i like this now you have harry's noble collection wand is here and it's very weighted the texture is it is more realistic i must admit it seems quite beautifully done with the noble collection wand now with the wooden wand it's a lot smoother it's much darker in color it's not shiny like the noble collection wand is this could almost be mistaken for a uh, a counterfeit wand but you know it's not obviously it's not a counterfeit wand it is an officially licensed wooden wand and it's the first wooden series that warner brothers have ever produced to sell to the public anyway now the only thing i can tell with this is which is going to make things difficult for people who are looking for officially licensed ones is i cannot see any warner brothers stamp on this which makes me a little concerned as a collector now this i know this is official because i bought this directly from the shop so there's no doubt about it, it's all for, uh, it's authenticity it is genuine but as a collector i think that's going to make things a little bit uh scary i think for people looking for these ones um and officially licensed ones because there's nothing i cannot oh yes thank god for that <laughs> there is a stamp it's incredibly faint but there is a stamp i was getting incredibly worried then and it says on it i wonder if this is going to be it's, there's only going to be so many available because it says copyright obviously warner brothers but then it says summer of 21 so that is the obviously it was released in the summer of 21 of 2021 but i'm glad now the here with the uh, with the noble collection one it's in exactly the same place oh my god this came out in 2014 wow that's really really crazy with the noble collection one you can just about make out there you have a stamp there and there it is by my nail and on the wooden wand it is in almost the exact same place just by my nail there you can see it it's not going to be limited edition because the same markings are on the noble collection wand as well so that's good it makes me wonder how many of them are going to be released hopefully it will be they'll keep it going because 60 pound for a wand is a lot of money and if there's people out there like myself they're not going to be get, getting them all at once i would have loved to have had all three and I've only managed to, I could only just afford these two because I sold something on eBay, um, which paid for these. But I am actually pleasantly surprised. Now, if it came just like this, I think I'd be disappointed. But because it comes in such a lavish box with the velvet inside, with the ribbon, with the Ollivander sticker on the top, I would say that that makes it worth it because it seems very authentic uh, to the time period, to the story itself, to Ollivanders. So I am pleasantly surprised by this. I'm going to put Harry's wand back and we're going to open Dumbledore's. I haven't opened that yet, so I'm very excited about this. So we have Dumbledore's wand. Now, I do like that they have these plastic packaging covers over these tassels. I'm going to take them off so we get the full feel. The presentation of Dumbledore's wand is exceptional. I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I am so thrilled with the way this box came. That is lush. 
you'd expect that from the elder wand wouldn't you being so grand but it makes you wonder they've only just they've only done these three wands Hermione's Dumbledore's and Harry's I'd like to think they will do more, but I guess they're going to wait and see what the sales are like with these ones. Uh, whether they've been, you know, whether they've been well received. But it's nice to see something different from them. So let's open it, shall we? I am nervous about this. I mean, let's face it, it's the elder wand, you know. Now, for those of you who would like to get these ones, I will put the links down below. As far as I'm aware, I think they're available in the New York shop as well. They will probably be available in the Wizarding World in Florida. They will probably be available online at Universal Orlando, but I will check first. But they're definitely available online in the Harry Potter shop in the UK. Oh, wow. There's no, like gauze or anything it's just straight to the wand <laughs> um so i was actually expecting there to be gauze i'm not disappointed what do you think i think seeing them now is actually making me want to hurry up and buy hermione's i really want the whole set because these are beautiful they are absolutely beautiful so i'm gonna take this out this one's easier to get out and of course i love the purple matches my nails look <laughs> and my top <laughs> and my eyeshadow as well i chose well today i really did now this feels incredibly light there's bound to be a metal rod inside it obviously they'd be stupid not to okay this is where i'm gonna hear that there isn't one all right and i'm gonna be like what You've done a wooden wand without anything inside it looking at these i had the privilege of um playing with some of the items in the discontinued cabinets and naval collection store obviously when i was there filming and the wand that i got to play with was dumbledore's elder wand in bronze which has been discontinued for a long time this very much seems the style of that it's uh where is the wand hang on where's oh i don't have dumbledore's wand here do i no, I don't have the elder wand with me. Um, my elder wand was actually Monica's elder wand. She's taken it back. So I need to get one for myself, a, a noble collection one. I have one now. Um, these will not be on display. <laughs> these are staying in the boxes. This looks very much like the bronze elder wand from noble collection. The, the rivets and dimples of the wood itself, it's very smooth. It's very kind of pleasing to the eye. Um, with Harry's, the difference, you've got the, the Noble Collection one is quite sharp in appearance. Um, almost like you've turned on the contrast on a photograph of the wand. And yet then the one, at the wooden one from Warner Brothers is very smooth. So I will do some closer pictures, obviously, for Instagram. But this comes across to me like the bronze wand uh, in Noble Collection. So it is very beautiful. It's incredibly light. It is very light. There's no weight to it at all. It's crazy. But it is beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. I really like this one. I'm very intrigued, uh, very interested to see the Hermione wand after seeing Dumbledore's because hers are obviously covered in ivy and leaves and uh, vines, the strength. Um, so it makes me wonder what hers looks like. The color of these is very different. They seem very rich in color compared to the Noble Collection ones. But of course the Noble Collection ones are resin. So it's a, it's a, pa a paint job with gloss. But these are almost like they're, they're true to the the real kind of wand in the film it's very um almost like red oak sort of thing this style and then harry's just seems his is his ash or mahogany i can never remember with harry's i was never good with wand law uh with wand information um but yeah i mean this is a beautifully presented wand it's a beautiful wand you guys have done a fantastic job job of this i love the colors of the difference between this part here and then the, the redness the ready blue the ready blue the ready brown of the wood 
It is beautiful. And you've got the red showing through there. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It's almost like an extended finger of death. You know, he's got arthritis with his knuckles, you know. The wand created by death. It is beautiful. But I definitely think it's safe to say it will not be on display. I've got some beautiful wand displays that I can put it on. But I don't know. I think I'd rather keep it in its box to be on the safe side. So what have you thought of these ones? Please let me know in the comments below. Are you thinking of getting them? I am incredibly pleased that I have and I love how Dumbledore's wand is displayed. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's such a Dumbledore like presentation, you know? It's so pretty. Remember to, oh God, that feels so soft on my skin. Remember to keep all of your packaging, please. Um, it is vital that you keep all of your packaging. As you know, you know, as I say as a collector, please keep your packaging and keep it away from sunlight because it will tarnish. It will bleach, be bleached by the sun. So this has been quite like um, a collector's video quite an informative video but yes in case you were wondering this is the most valuable wand you can find I have covered it many times before on my YouTube channel it is as I said the first wand that Warner Brothers ever gave to the public so it is worth a fortune and it's beautiful there are hardly any of them around anymore I only know a handful of people not even that I don't even know enough on what to fill one hand how many people actually have one of those wands a lot of them got destroyed, obviously, when they were handed out. And the boxes got thrown. I mean, they wouldn't have... Harry Potter was... It was a, it, it was a kid's film, wasn't it, in the very beginning? It was, it was for kids. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not anymore. It's for kids and adults, and damn right. But it, it was, you know, and kids play with things, so that things happen. But yeah, that wand is my one of my most treasured possessions. I love it so much. I absolutely love it. I was very lucky to find it on eBay. I found it on eBay literally the day I looked for it. And uh, years ago now, about eight, nine years ago, and I bought it, I think, for about 26 quid, I think. And um, yeah, I was very lucky. Very, very lucky indeed. The box is in immaculate condition. It's a bit dusty, it needs to be dusted. But um, yeah, I'm very lucky. So let me know in the comments below what did you think of these ones. Uh, if you are thinking about getting them, don't forget to use your Wizarding World Gold while you can, if you have it. Um, I will be using mine to get the Hermione wand pretty soon, and I will be showing it on my channel as well as all my social media. Remember, Instagram is normally where I am, and uh, you'll be seeing more photographs of this chair soon. I love it. It's so comfy. Until next time, take care. I love you all, and I will speak to you very, very soon. Want to check out more of my content? Take a look at this video right here or this video right here. Don't forget to like and subscribe.